Revelation 3579 from the 16th of October 1945 Last days future present God has foretold people what will happen to earth in accordance with his eternal plan of salvation He does not want them to experience the last day unprepared he does not want to surprise them suddenly in their imperfection but give them ample opportunity beforehand to achieve perfection. He wants to urge them to become spiritual, he wants to warn them of the consequences if they ignore his reminders, and he wants to inform his own of all events which shall come to pass during the last days in order to strengthen their faith and to give them hope and trust for their deliverance. He will not allow anything to happen to earth without informing people first, so that they should recognize him in all forthcoming events. But he will never divert from his eternal plan of salvation which he has wisely considered in knowledge of its effectiveness. The end may well take its time but it will irrevocably arrive, and for that reason all prophecies concerning earth and the signs of the last days should be taken literally and thus the human being can expect the end at any hour, he should always anticipate that the end could occur in the present time, and therefore attach great importance of improving himself, his soul, so that it can emerge unharmed and stand before God on judgment day. As soon as the human being believes the end to be in the future he becomes indifferent and slow in the work on himself. However, if he anticipates that God's prophecies could fulfill themselves in the present time he takes the transformation of his nature seriously, and this is God's intention from the start, and he urges people to change their nature. But yet one day his proclamations will become the present and shall fulfill themselves word for word. And just prior to the events people will least believe the prophecies and this itself will demonstrate that the last days have arrived. When no one anticipates the transformation of earth any longer, when people reject all relevant information, when they look at all events from an entirely earthly and material point of view and ignore the divine creator, that is when they negate every connection between humanity's fate and divine will. Then the hour is not far, because then humanity has reached the degree of maturity which causes the end. And then God's proclamations shall fulfill themselves literally, to the horror of those who do not believe and hence are completely unprepared, and to the joy and comfort of the few who are waiting for the last hour as the hour of deliverance from greatest earthly distress. Because one day even the future will become the present. And although God's love is infinitely great, one day God's justice will take its place and end a condition which is disastrous for the still imperfect spiritual substances in the universe. And for that reason people should be repeatedly reminded of the end, they should be informed of the word of God who uses his prophets to warn and remind people and hence speaks to them through mediators. The end is close at hand and blessed is he who believes the prophecies and prepares himself. The day will come unexpectedly and take all living beings from earth to lead them either into eternal life or into death, as God has proclaimed in word and scripture. Amen.